Hey guys, welcome to my very first model review for FS17. This is the John Deere 7430 and 7530 by MB3D Modding, or Modeling, should I say. Wow, what a tractor. This is our very first proper John Deere added into 17. So you can see the different versions you can get here. You can get one with care wheels. You can put the front loader bra bracket on it with normal size tyres and rear duels. The loader that you guys are going to want to get so it doesn't have any confusion is the FC60, so the biggest one, and the colour match I will go over. But well, let's take a walk around. Uh, let's do this one here as it's out of the way. The uh, modelling on them is absolutely fantastic for the most part. There is some stuff that I would question. Nice duels. I would like to see duels on the front as well as an option. See your four tyre options. Three. Four, I think. So, your uh, standard is your ones you get. The care wheels, rear duels, and all four duels. Just to add a bit of variation to it. Jump inside the cab. Now, I think the tone on the tan is a little too dark from what I've seen in pictures and stuff like that in the past. So the computer down here is pretty cool. The top one in green is your speed. The second one is the fuel usage. Why it's at 1.5 I don't know. I don't think it's the hours. And the bottom one is the hours. The bottom right hand corner is temperature don't think it moves this middle one right hand side is pto rpm haven't tested it yet i've got a feeling that won't move and the top right is rpm so yeah that middle one as that was probably really loud i just hit my boom ow i think is fuel usage why is on still i don't know but here's the cab got the speedo taco fuel and temperature with we switch the engine on kind of hear it from inside it does change and we'll switch it on outside it sounds like the case I think that's the case sound files I really do but if we go on the lights you can see the dials light up which is nice because they don't on the stock stuff even over here look Ah, that little light lights up there by the looks of it. That's cool. And that lights up these lights and turn it out. So from the outside, this is what it looks like all lit up. So your normal lights. Now that's one thing I needs to be tweaked in my mind is where the haze from the brake lights are, or the tail lights needs to be bought in more. I don't think that looks right to be honest. It looks weird. Your rear working lights and again the front ones just so you guys can get a thing a uh, thing a uh, look at it the working lights at the top I feel I don't know it they don't look as good as say the rest like where they've got proper lenses it could be done to set less polygons stuff like that uh, your beacon just a singular beacon on this there is no IC control there are some tractors with IC control but this is V1 so the chances are there will be updates and all that good stuff to it and it is an amazing tractor these are one of my favorite tractors you can see the detail all over it doesn't have a number plate on it as you can see back there and to be honest I am thankful for that I don't like it when they have number plates on it leave it to people to put more number plates on it so there is one major issue I would say I found with it and we're going to take a little tour over here to where we have a stock Amazon 6 meter fully mounted cultivator and then we're going to connect to it. Now I understand the tyres should compress but what's about to happen is the whole tractor disconnects from the tyres and squats down to the floor pretty much. Yep. Now, 
I understand. It has no weight on the front, you may say. Let's go put... SOBs. I believe that's the name they're going by. Front weight. That maxed out is 2,800 kilos on the machine. So that's leveled it out. It's now got almost a 3 ton on the front. But it's squatted down beyond belief still on the rear. Now the tyres... Yeah, they're pretty squatted. I just don't think the tractor should be moving this much. I haven't tested it on a stock one, but you can see kind of where the tyre should be and where the actual tractor's moved. It's almost like the suspension's too soft on the rear, maybe, is what I'm thinking. I have used it on the cultivator, and it handles it really nicely. But it's just a little funky, so driving it around sounds amazing. I do want to say it is stock in-game sounds. I really do. And here is our front loader. We've already gone over this one. Standard tyres and the care wheels, finally. We have some care wheels on it. Uh, this is what it looked like dirty as well. Uh, you probably saw that at the beginning. It looks awesome really does look good. So we'll take this over to our little workshop here to go over the cost of everything. Could have done it with the one on the doors, but hey, we didn't. And jump in here, and then we'll go over the cost of the machines when we buy it. Actually, we can more as well just do that now. So we go to tractors... And it's all the way at the end. Here we have the 730. So basically the 7030 series. It is 120k stock. Now it's more than the one in 17. Well, 15, sorry. It is 150 a day. Stock is 190 horsepower. Holds 385 litres of fuel. Goes 31 miles an hour. Goes about 32 miles an hour, actually, on the road. I don't mean real life, I mean in-game. So if we go select, we can put the front loader attachment on for 800, bump it up to the 7530 that we all know from FS15 for 8000, and the different wheel op options. So you standard tyres, the twin rear is a grand extra, and the narrows is 800. So really specking it out to where I imagine most people would have it with the front loader, the 7530, narrow tyres, because you get the stock free already. You're talking damn near 130k, but it's 129,600. Pretty expensive, if you ask me. So that will wrap up the uh, mod review on it. Hope you enjoyed it. I was definitely a little clunky in this one, as it's been a while since I've done it. This is like my third or fourth take on it too, so we'll, we'll take this. It's available from Mod Hoster. Again, it is by BM3D Modeling. They do amazing work. This is the first proper John Deere released. Yes, I know there's some converted ones out there. They're converted. And they've been getting taken down from Mod Hoster pretty quickly, some of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. There will be more in the future when we have some good quality mods. Emphasis on the good quality. And I hope to see you again soon. Catch you guys later.